All right. What's up with you? You're so strappy these days. Oh, it's my dad and that lying mare, Andrea. Thought it's flop. Come crawling back, hasn't she? He's letting her move in. Cosy. Cramped. Well, why don't you try and find a place of your own? Could you remember when you started shouting at me when I used to go on about my mum and him? <laughs> you never stopped. Yeah, exactly. And you're doing the exact same thing. Look, if your dad loves Andrea, then she's going nowhere and you're just going to have to put up with her. You need to stop stressing about everyone else's life and start living your own. Take care, yeah? Bet you're glad to see the back of me. Well, can't lie. <laughs> you won't give me an inch, will you? Old habits. <laughs> going on? Thanks for talking some sense into me. What? Before, what you said, it was a proper wake-up call. What, you're leaving? That was quick. There's no point hanging around. Done enough of that. Well, where are you going to go? I'm thinking of volunteering overseas. Wow. I mean, I don't know the details yet, but... No, it sounds amazing. <laughs> I'm dead jealous. Just chuck some stuff in a rucksack. Well, I would, but there is something really good on telly tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no contest. Right then. Um, bye. I'll keep in touch. Yeah, make sure you do, and um, good luck. <laughs> bye. All right then. Must be having you. Whatever you think of me, I really love your dad. I am so glad I got to know you, Dad. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Oh, come here. You know where I am if you need me. 